Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sunny. That's my real name, by the way. Straight shot. Not short for anything. Nope. Alright, <laughs> so we're back here chatting about music, um, which is pretty much what my channel is going to turn into. It's going to be a good portion of me just commenting on music, reacting to new music, um, just, just really trying to focus on my love for music or whatever. And sometimes deep dives and just commentary on pop culture in general. Um, so today I really want to dive into the Taylor Swift situation. I feel like we can finally put a cap on this whole craziness. I'm not even sure what went down. Well, we're sure what went down. I think the thing is I'm just not sure why it just happened the way that it did. But um, hopefully Taylor finds the peace that she needs and has you know has already either found it or will find it after knowing what's going on right now um which i will tell you we'll, we'll talk about but i wanted to start this video um with firstly just saying sorry to taylor i mean just sorry for anything that i may have contributed to this the hate train that continued because I'm a Nicki Minaj fan. The Nicki hate train is still going strong. The Taylor Swift hate train honestly will not stop. But now that this information about Kanye and the full video came out with him talking on the phone with Taylor um, about um, the song Famous. Pause real quick. My neighbors have dogs that like to bark all night long. Like literally I'm numb to it. But when I'm recording videos and stuff, that's when I'll hear him. <laughs> but any other time, I'm numb to it. But sorry, guys, if you hear it. I guess if you're going to be a subscriber here, which you should. Which you should. Uh, you might get used to the dogs in the back, too, until I move away. Back to Taylor. So, yeah. Anyways, I really wanted to say sorry because I definitely did. There was a moment where I, like, kind of... I didn't turn all the way. I was like, maybe I turned on her like this. And, and I just feel like... We just put her in such a box that we just thought she was victim blaming. We thought she was playing the victim. We thought she was, I don't know what we thought she was doing, but sis was telling the truth the whole time. And I'm genuinely sorry for not believing her when we should believe all women, especially when there's a man like Kanye West who, you know, puts her naked body in a video and no one's calling him out on stuff like that because oh it's just rap we'll get into all that later <laughs> again i just want to start the video off by saying sorry um to taylor that i did not believe her and i think that this is something that everyone should follow suit. So even the people who trashed her but even the person who made that mural mural boy you need to literally apologize to that girl i don't know just the past couple of weeks i feel like it's just been for me, rediscovering, you know, why I fell in love with Taylor Swift and her story and her music. Because I've always been a Taylor Swift fan. Like, I've been a fan since... He's the reason for the teardrops on my guitar. Sorry, it's like late and like I'm trying to be quiet and talk, but also trying to... You know, anyway. I've loved her since teardrops on my guitar. Like, that was my song. Um, And then as she grew in her career, like, I was never... Okay. Heck, let's talk about my fandom my fan fandom. <laughs> let's talk about my i guess journey through being a fan of taylor swift i don't think i would ever i mean i think i'm in the swifty gang i mean I, I would call myself i mean just based off me probably knowing a good portion of her songs by heart more than people that i would know who would consider themselves just you know surface level fans maybe i'm like I'm like midway to Swifty. I'm not Swifty. I haven't been to her shows. I would like to. I haven't been, you know. But anyways, back on track. Um, loved her. Um, and I was definitely a big fan of hers. Up, Not up until 2009, but definitely in 2009 I was a fan. But of course, a black woman, Beyonce, single ladies, I was like also rooting for her too. So when, when that VMA moment happened, y'all, like, I definitely did think Kanye West was wrong. He was super wrong. I don't think there was ever a point where I ever said, oh, Kanye West, like, thank you for going up there. Because, I mean, regardless of who won, like, that was her moment, like. And, and the fact that he really goes around and thinks in his head that he made this girl's career, like, she didn't come out with her self-titled album. And was it Fearless that was 
was it fearless was that fearless in 2008 comment down below if you know but she had two albums out before that Kanye West moment at the 2009 VMAs so he's just saying anything <laughs> he just went and said anything I mean I guess he became famous to people that were fans of Kanye West I mean a lot of people are fans of Kanye West but I'm just saying like, just because she wasn't in your market wasn't targeted to you does not mean I'm sorry I'm looking at the mirror and not the camera but just because she was marketed to you and not you know urban you know doesn't doesn't mean that she's not known because the girls knew her everybody knew Taylor Swift so Kanye just saying he made her famous was just anything I think I think after that I just I just think she went through a whole lot of just being in a shadow and not really knowing that she was in a shadow and so she kind of had to realize that like, people are really like always putting me up against him and, and whoever he's you know what I mean it's just it's just been an ongoing never anything and I hope that what happened this weekend I hope what happened with the video leaking can really put this whole thing to bed because I'm tired of hearing about it too but no I think what really sparked me to do this video um I watched Miss Americana which is her um documentary series on Nef documentary series documentary film on Netflix um and it was really like an eye-opener for me like I you know I think I think after the whole Kim leaked the video on Twitter and they had that whole thing, I think that had maybe left a bad taste about her in my mouth. Like everyone was saying that she was following and I was reading threads about people who were against her and I kind of got convinced, okay, you know, she's not a, a nice person. I'm not even sure how we came to this conclusion. I really don't even remember how we came to the conclusion that Taylor Swift is a bad person who's not nice because all Taylor Swift is is nice. I don't know. But... I don't know. We can remind me in the comments if you really want to argue because I'm an arguer. But I don't even know how we got to that. Like, how do we get to the part where we thought Taylor Swift was a bad person? I don't even know. But Miss Americana was really, like, a good portion of it made me really proud of her because she really, like, stuck to her morals and stuck to her. But I also think it made me sad a lot of points because you got to see what she really went through through all that. Like, that 2009 VMA situation with Kanye was the start of a lot of you know self-deprecation for her just a lot of just self-doubt uh doubting herself that she'd do good doubting herself that she was worth you know all the things she was getting I just and you know I think over the years the, the documentary kind of showed like all the award not all the awards she got but they kind of showed her reaction and the audience to winning and I think after 2009 I think she kind of was just like trying to be as humble as possible i just feel like she felt like she might have did something wrong that day and kind of just came out and, and just like snapped but like this poor girl was just like pushed and forced and pushed in this box to be nice forever like nice girls don't do this nice girls don't do that which all women i think are at a certain point in our lives but taylor like gr this girl is like literally like almost 30 and like she is just now like coming to a lot of you know come to terms with a lot of things that i've come to terms with i'm 22 and i'm not blaming her i'm blaming the world just because she was kind of stuck in the cycle of you know i'm pushing the album out then i'm going on tour then i'm coming home for a small amount of time barely can see my family and friends then I'm going back out it just showed a lot of different sides of taylor swift that i was just like surprised to see um, but again, it was really sad. Like there was a moment when she was looking at a picture of herself and she thought, you know, that she looked sick, you know, and she had gained weight, I guess, in the documentary when she was, I guess, when they were documenting her, she was looking back at prior pictures and was like, at that point she wished she had been skinnier and she was like a stick. It was so sad. I was so sad. Like that she thought she wasn't good enough or skinny enough or whatever what have you just because of the words she would see from people online telling her that she wasn't skinny enough for xyz and that she looks she used to look at her pictures all the time and just like analyze them and critique herself often and you can see it in the documentary that she still does it to this day but she not as much or she's really good at control like you know 
getting to control her own thoughts and mind now that she can, you know, erase those thoughts when they come with the quickness. But it's really hard. It's a hard thing. You know, I've been in therapy, all the stuff, so I know exactly what, you know, she, she went through. But I know, like I said, I know exact, like, exactly what she went through in regards to controlling your mind and, like, you know, preventing yourself from the self-deprecating thoughts. But I could have never gone through anything she went through. She had a pretty successful hip-hop artist come on stage and tell her that someone else's music video was better than hers after she had just won best music video at the vmas that's a different level of of, of public scrutiny and, and, and stuff that she had to face i could never i could never understand her shoes but yeah miss americana was just really like an eye-opener and it really warmed my heart and like it's sad that there were some there were moments in the while watching the documentary, I was I was thinking, is she trying to suck us in? Like, she's trying to play the victim yet again? But by the end, like, my thoughts of that, like, erased. Because I was just like, this girl went through so much shit. And, like, I'm not sure where we were. The camera cut off. But I think I was just capping my um, experience watching Miss Americana. And it was... It was really a beautiful film, to be honest. It was very captivating. You saw the love she had for her family and friends, her mom, you know. It was so many things she went through on top of, you know, her own career and trying to forge her own path and figure it out and figure out if she should speak on things or not. But her mom had cancer at some point. It, like, and she took, she literally took a year off just to breathe, just to not, you know, I don't know. But that girl is strong, so, so, so strong. And lastly, if you guys don't know, um, recently there was a video leaked, the full video of the phone call between Kanye West and Taylor Swift where he screened the song Famous because she was going to be, like her name was being dropped in the song. So he said it was protocol for him to call people who were mentioned in the song and tell them exactly verbatim what was being said about them in the song. And the whole thing was that... I guess the whole thing back in the day, if you don't know, was that Taylor was saying he dropped the song. He he literally just said, I made that be famous. And he only told her about the lyric, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. But he didn't tell her about what came after, which was, I made that famous. And the problem was that you're using the B word and you didn't tell me. You're calling me out of my name and you didn't tell me. He didn't mention any of that. The whole video... You didn't see him mention anything about that line. So I'm just like, and everyone thought she was lying. And Kim posted that video that was edited and doctored a couple years ago. And everybody believed it. I saw it. I was I was like, well, why is Taylor making a big deal if he told her? And he didn't even tell her. Like, I just, I sh you know, I just wish that I, you know, I had used more of the context clues and really had, like, figured out, like, okay he's lying on this girl like i don't i wouldn't want to be called the b word out of my name like that in a song it was just a lot it was a lot but today well whenever you're watching this this weekend this recently the full video came out of that footage and it showed you know everything taylor swift said she was right and everyone's you know been on twitter tweeting kanye west's over party and they only they're only doing that because they turned they turned to Taylor Swift as over party and that that was shown in Miss Americana and I felt so bad in that too because she was just like do you know how many people have to tweet that for that to be the number one worldwide you know trending topic and then today Kanye West's over party was one of the trending topics worldwide so karma really <laughs> karma really comes to you when I mean, you need that shit man but I just hope that. Taylor can finally wrap this I mean not that it's her responsibility to wrap this chapter up it kind of wrapped itself up but I hope she can truly truly find peace and move on if she hasn't already and, and finally like figure out and finally you know feel free from this weird situation this is a very weird situation um I'm I'm more so mad at myself <laughs> because I I had already like been like my like in Kanye West had been decreasing. I don't know how he kept us on hold like that for so long, but like he is just a mess. Like I'm a mess. Like I'm sorry. Like 
and Kim is a poor excuse of a woman for putting up with that mess like I'm sorry like but yeah I really just wanted to come on here and just discuss you know just some thoughts that I was having about this whole Taylor Swift thing this girl went through so much you know this girl is definitely I mean I, I don't know the girl I really don't but like just through the documentary and just through you know her journey over the years I don't really think that this girl has a manipulative bone in her body like why would she care to be a snake toward Kim Kardashian and Kanye West if anything she was trying to keep their friendship but he you know was taking advantage of her and that's point blank period so yeah if you guys agree with me or don't let me know what you think in the comments um open to arguing and so I don't feel like arguing anymore so you go ahead and comment what you want um no profanity no not no rudeness I don't like rudeness so don't be rude in my comments but I will argue with you friendly debates but yeah, again, Taylor, so sorry. Genuinely, from the bottom of my little heart, so sorry. Anyways, yeah, Taylor, wishing you the best of luck in everything that you do. Love, lover. I don't know if you guys want to know my fate. I don't know. Whatever videos you guys want me to do, comment below. Anything that, that you got or anything that came to mind while you are watching this video. But um, yeah, thanks guys for listening to my ramblings. Please like and subscribe if you want more. You'll be seeing more of this face all the time always um and yeah it was really fun talking to you guys it's a fun way to get things off my chest that i'm passionate about so thank you guys for listening and yeah i'll catch you on the flippity floppity floopity <laughs> bye